normally when we're assembling things it would just be a case of plugging these wires together however in this guide i'm going to show you how to connect two servos to one port and to do that we're going to need to modify one of our leads to change two of the wires around if you weren't aware there are two sets of wires on the market the m5 stack ones have white wire on the outside followed by the yellow the red and the black there is another series that has the yellow on the outside followed by the white the red and the black this tutorial assumes you, you have the M5 stack white ones. What we need to do is we need to separate the white and the yellow leads and carefully remove them and swap them over. So that one end it has white, yellow, red, black. And the other is yellow, white, red, black. To do this, all you need is a small screwdriver and to carefully lift up these little tabs and gently remove the pins. I'll do that off camera because it's slightly difficult. Well, come back as you can see, I've now done it. You don't want to break off these little tabs because it will make it difficult to repair these leads and keep these wires secure. Now that we have done that, we take our prepared cable and an ordinary cable. If you can see the eight colors there. No. Just to show that it is still the same cable versus a normal cable and all you do is you just have to place the servo adapters on the end of the wires try not to drop them once we've done that we take our T Plug them in like that, like so, and plug that in to port C of your M5 stack. Next, we take our adapter, our pan and tilt head, we just connect them together so that the orange lead is in line with the white lead on this side and on the second servo you, you connect the harness so that the orange servo wire is in line with the yellow wire right that's the servos connected now for the joystick this is simple a case of plug one end in there and plug the other end into port A and that's our connections done. Now that we have all our hardware together it's time to program it. You notice I've already added just the unit for the joystick and no units for the servo. Because we're running two servos on one servo port we need to use an advanced function. In the advanced menu right at the bottom we have pin servo. Click on that, add that one together, change the address to 16 as that's one of the wires of Grove port C that we have a servo connected to. Duplicate that change that to 17 and that's the other wire 
that the other servo is connected to. Next, we use these this block, similar to have you have similar to what you've got with the original servo functions. And you just press play to upload upload it, and that resets everything. Now we can carry on with the loop. Add our loop in. Scoot back down. Excuse me if I'm going too fast. Again, add our two blocks for servo one, servo two. Then we go back to unit joysticks. Then we add get joystick X there and get joystick Y there. Press play again. Wait for it to upload. It's temperamental at the best time on this computer. If your servos are not set up right, you might need to adjust it. To adjust it, you just pull out the servo horns, separate the cage, and just push it all back together again, reinsert your screw. And then you happily play. If you have your servos, the one we ran, so that left and right tilts the head and up and down pans it, all you need to do is swap the two numbers up here around, re-upload, wait for the, computer, ser the server to upload it to your thing, and it should all work. Any other questions, any ideas or improvements that you could use this for, please let me know. You'll find my links on all the various forums. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.